Hello, I'm Sarah Howe, tech support at Keith McMillan Instruments. Today I'm going to show you an in-depth tutorial about scene and preset saving in the SoftStep application. For this tutorial, I'm going to use SoftStep for Mac version uh, 1.099, which is our beta public release that includes standalone mode. First, I want to make sure you know to keep the SoftStep application inside of the SoftStep directory with the presets folder. You have to keep them together so that you can reliably save and recall presets. So open up the SoftStep application. In the top right hand corner you will see your scene list that contains all of the factory presets and then under the open modulation button for each key you'll see the preset list for each key. Those are all saved within a scene preset. So first I'm going to show you how to alter a currently existing preset. On key one's modulation line for the note triggers preset I'm going to change the note to 72 which is C above middle C and you'll notice that the save button blinks from the main window showing you that you need to save it. So go ahead and press the save button and a save dialog box will open up. For now don't change anything and just go ahead and click the save button. This will overwrite the current key preset which is fine because we wanted to change it to suit our current needs. But now I'm going to show you how to make a new preset. From the scene list, choose init as your scene, which will open up blank presets for each key. Now go into key one's modulation window, and we're going to make our own preset in here. Um, we'll turn on the mod line, select our source, select our parameter destination. We'll, do the, we'll go ahead and do the same situation we had before uh, with note set. And it'll be key C. And we'll save that. And notice how the save button is blinking, showing that we altered this preset. Clicking on the save button from the main window this time, you can do it from either. And we're going to name our key, and we're going to name it Note C. And we're going to select a location. I'm going to put it in slot 18 because it's unnamed. So that way it doesn't write over anything. And there it is at the bottom of the list on our key presets. Now I want to copy this over to key 2 so that I don't have to go ahead and recreate that modulation window from scratch. So I'm going to use the copy and paste function and copy all around to all the scenes and now I'll need to save this preset but I probably want to change the note number so this will be C sharp and now I'll save key two's preset I'll call this one I'll put this one in slot 18 as well and call it Note C Sharp and click Save. And my Save button in the main window stopped blinking, as you can see. And I want to keep going around to all the other keys and make them all different notes. So I'll do that on key 3 one more time just to show you key 3 will play a D and I'll click save call it note D put it in slot 18 and I'm gonna type it in instead of scrolling to it this time it'll replace unnamed there it is okay so key 1, 2, and 3 are all ready to go so let's pretend the rest of them are too so now I'm going to save my scene, which will save the slot numbers that each key preset is in when you save it. Be sure that you save your key presets first and then save your scene. 
you will lose your key preset data if you fail to save it in the correct order. There is, however, another thing you could do. Um, you can use the Save Keys with the Scene function, which allows you to save all of the keys on the same slot at once, and then save the scene, of course. Just make sure when you do this, you don't have any other uh, presets saved on sl the slot that you choose for each key, because you'll overwrite them. Also take note that when you use the Save All function, the key presets will all be named the same instead of having unique names, which is really the only drawback of using that function. So now I've got my Notes C scale preset all ready to go. And I can choose a different preset and go to it, and then go back to the Notes C scale preset that I just made, and I can see that my settings are all there, just like how I left them and I can use the increment and decrement to select them as well. Okay, so now that I've got everything the way I want it in hosted mode, it's maybe time for me to try it out in standalone mode. Standalone mode allows you to download your scene to the soft step and then not have to have the application open in the background. So the presets in hosted mode are different than the presets in standalone mode. But we do have an easy way to transfer them over to standalone mode. Um, you just go ahead and go back to the Save button in the main window while you're still in Hosted and select Save Hosted to Standalone. Now you can go ahead and select your slot. The slots will be different because the scenes might be different in standalone. So go to the first unnamed slot, save it. It'll save your presets and your scene and send you on over to standalone mode automatically. So now you can see your scene there in the scene list and your key presets there in the presets lists. There are some things to be aware of when saving from hosted to standalone mode and that is that not all of the same features exist in standalone mode, um, such as weight trig latch. Now if I saved a, see a preset in hosted mode that contained weight trig latch and then attempted to save hosted to standalone, I would find that that preset wouldn't transfer correctly. So here in my sources for this key, it doesn't say weight trig, instead it just says none. So I would have to update that and change my source because weight trig doesn't exist yet in standalone mode. Other things like parameter destinations and devices might be different as well. So that's why the presets have to be different in hosted mode versus standalone mode. Okay, so that is how to save a preset into standalone mode. And now that I've altered the preset in standalone mode, my change won't have taken effect in hosted mode. Now I'll switch back to hosted and as you can see my source still says weight trig latch. But in standalone mode it's foot on because I updated it. Okay, so now I'm going to want to save a set list so that I can download my scenes to the board. I'm going to select my scene in the set list and then hit the download button and my scene will download to the soft step, making it possible for me to quit the soft step application so that any CPU being used up by the soft step application is no longer a problem. And I'm going to go to MIDI monitor and show that my scene is functional. When I press on key 1 I get note 72, when I press on key 2 I get note 73 and so on. Okay so now you know all about saving scenes and presets in the soft step application. So that concludes this tutorial. If you have more questions consult the manual or email support at keithmcmillan.com. Thank you.